It all started back in the days when we were still shoving the Nazis out of Italy. I've been through the whole African campaign. And after we hit the beach at Anzio, I got myself a soft spot in the Quartermaster's Corps, driving a supply truck on the run from Salerno to Naples. I found out quick that a guy with half a brain could make himself a fast buck. I had a gimmick. I never got loaded up with heavy stuff, only negotiable goods that I could turn over for a good price. Strictly A1 merchandise, like uh, oh, cigarettes, canned milk, chocolate, that kind of stuff. Later, someone dreamt up a name for it, Black Market. That made it sound dirty. But nobody got hurt in my operations, and I figured I was collecting a bonus for living. I recognized the signal. It was a guy from my company. He'd been looking for me up and down the road to tip me off that an MP reception committee was waiting for me up ahead in camp. I figured they'd have to get wise one of these days, but I didn't know then how much the brass had on me. Now I had to figure out what I was gonna do. I wasn't gonna let myself be caught red-handed with the profits. No, sir. You see, I'd never been dumb enough to send that dough through the mails. Besides, I had nobody left back home that I could trust it with. I carried it where I could see it and touch it, almost next to my skin. I sat on it. I decided to ditch my bundle right where I made it, for the time being, that was. Four million lira, a lot of dough in any man's town. Although right now it's only about uh, 6,000 bucks American. Enough folding money to let me sit in the sun while I figured out how to multiply it. like a good spot. So I picked my landmark. Just to make sure I put my brand deep into it. First letter of my last name. Get that three. Three was my lucky number. So I walked three steps north and put my spade into the ground. I took a last look around to make sure it was safe to dig a vault for my dough. The MPs grabbed me the minute I got back to camp. They asked me all kinds of questions. And even without the money on me, I, I didn't have a chance. I got sent up. But four years go by, even if you sweat them out in an army prison detail back home. And from that night on, that little piece of Italy became as much a part of me as my arm. <laughs> I dreamt about that money as if it was a woman. I got out of the army at last, with a swell reference for getting a job, a dishonorable discharge. But it wasn't exactly a job that I was after. It was my dough that I wanted. It took too much red tape to get a passport, so I didn't waste any time contacting a guy named Vince. I was told that he could finagle a way of getting me back over the big pond.
Come on, baby. That's it. Come on, Hazel. That's it. Lucky six. Oh, baby. Come on, come on, baby. See Naples and die. Shut up and watch me make ten the hard way. Ah, that does it. Hey, banker. Let me another 20 bucks in a little, will you? Sure, sure, Keeler, but there's a limit. I made him money. Uh, this will be the last that's happy for it. Hey, get out the top of Vince, will you? He says not made out of money. Yeah, neither is the corner bank. Thanks, Vince. See you later, huh? That's right, kid. Go get slicked up. I'll show you this burg inside out. Now, wait a minute. Let's you and I settle up. You owe me 200,000? Get a move on. 20,000? 30,000? Hey, no. Have you seen Keeler? No. Keeler, wait a minute. I want to talk to you just a second. Where are you going, Buck? Let go of me. Running out of me, huh? I said let go of me. You can't get so a guy for worrying, can you? You owe me a hatful, Frankie. Hey, uh, chicken scratch. Chicken scratch, Rockefeller says. He owes me 200 for getting him on his ship, 120 for incidentals. That comes to uh, 320, and he says chicken scratch. You'll get it, you'll get it. Listen, Frank, the deal was you'd pay off when we got to Italy. So I figure when is now. First, I gotta get it. We're not showing off till 6 in the morning. Maybe I'd better come along. No. How do I know you're coming back? You don't. So? Think, stupid. Without a passport, this ship's my only way of getting home. I'll be back in three or four hours. You'd better be. Meet me in Ronaldo's bar right up the street. Uh-huh. You see that? Now, wise guy, how are you going to get past that gate without papers? Is it worth 50 bucks? 20. Three bills. OK, Sherlock. Arrivederci. Ma torni, eh? It was my marker, all right. But 
couldn't be. Well, I would have bet my life that I didn't bury my dough in a cemetery. That looked like my old tree. Yeah, that was my initial. Just like I carved it that night. I paced those three steps to the north again. to get in my shovel, but I couldn't then. Not with all those people around. Buongiorno, signore. Posso esservi utile? No, capisci, italiano. Ah, you americano? Allora, amico. William Day, you know him? Were you soldati together? Uh, no, he was my brother. Ah. Uh, Williams lives a nice place, huh? Perfect. <laughs> Grazie, signor Day. I am caretaker. I am Pietro. It is a fine place, America, eh? <laughs> Brooklyn, New York, Coin Island Avenue. <laughs> I was Brooklyn. My sister girl be married. Fifteen years past. Sister want me to stay, but Brooklyn is uh, for young men, too fast, uh, not me, <laughs> but I like it. You don't say. How is doing Dodgers? Leading the league. <laughs> Baseball, uh, home run, uh, Di Maggio, La Guardia, uh, Roosevelt Delano, uh, Cristoforo Colombo, uh, all good Italiani, Italians. Uh, <laughs> I Speak American good, no? Just like an idiot. <laughs> you stay a Murphy? No. Uh, come back, see brother? Uh, maybe sometime. <laughs> Very good. Qui si lavora. Lots of work. <laughs> uh, you like? What is it? Uh, come on, you see. Uh, it's Chevel, uh, Catholica, Protestant, uh, Prague. Makes no difference. I build uh, not enough money, make bigger. Uh, when uh, it's war, Nazi here, I hide the American soldiers. Nazi, they catch nobody. No. That Chevel, uh, my house, uh, two the cemetery, the cemetery of Australia, and like. Ah, I'm sorry, I have to go. Thanks very much. I'll, uh, I'll see you again. Okay, Sonny, you show it. Bye-bye. 
Whisky, eh? Cameriere, whisky al signore. Pronto? Eleanor Ravetsch here. Donno Medi. Femina, Eleanor Ravetsch. Ah, Eleanor. Ah, the way I threw Doe around. Champagne, music. I remember very well, Mr. Killer. Then why the freeze? The war is over, Mr. Killer. What do you mean by that? You stood me up for four years. What? The date you had with me. Remember? Sure, sure I remember, but uh, something very important came up. I couldn't. No doubt. For four years you could not. Not even a postcard. To say nothing of the bracelet and the fur coat and whatever else you promised me. You could not supply them. So you disappeared. Oh, come on, baby, let me make it up to you. Let's throw out the ice, huh? Ice! Get out of here! Finish! I don't want anything from you! Leave the Greek alone. Okay, baby. I see how it is. I won't spoil your act. Oh, that's all right. They didn't get anything to forget about. I'm sorry, but I'm afraid you must come to the police station with me. We have to make a report. Di grazie, eccetera. Lo poro turista va passeggiando pensando ai cazzi suoi e viene aggredito proditoriamente. Ma che siamo a Chicago, a casa? Andiamo a Chicago. No, non posso, dai cagari. No, venga anche. Dai cagari, dai cagari. Gennari, fammo paura, state a corta cagari. Andiamo, andiamo. Signor Commissario. Sì, Falzone? I soliti borsaioli hanno aggredito questo americano. I offer the apologies of Amalfi, signore. Sure, I understand. Are you missing something, signore? No, nothing. Uh, thanks for your trouble. Un momento, signore. Can you describe the thieves? No, I didn't get a good look at them. 
Come sembravano? Eh, erano roie. Uno era alta così e sicca così. L'altro era curta così e chiotta così. Pareva una grava, pareva. You could not recognize them, signore? No, I'm afraid not. Is that all? No, signore. You must make a report. Your name? Uh, Frank Day. Passport, please, Mr. Day. Uh, that's it, that's what they swiped. They stole my passport. Many passports have been stolen. It is so inconvenient. You will have to report the loss to the American consulate in Napoli. We will send a verification of the stealing. Okay, I'll do it the first thing in the morning. I'm very sorry. Arrivederlo, signore. Arrivederci. Grazie, Tonino. Lei ha quel foglio... Sì, signore. You know, signore, I should not give you the room without a passport. Ah. Uh, window? Ah, uh, thanks. Here. Thank you. Ah. Uh. Four hours. Yeah, I'm sorry. Something so very you important. deadbeat. Come on, sit down. Have something to eat. My treat. I'll be back before you finish. Oh no, you're not gonna get away from me this time. Okay, okay. <laughs> What'd you get nervous about? Uh come on, come with me. I was sitting in Naples waiting for you. The last thing in the world I wanted was company, especially Vince's. So I told him I'd pay him double if he waited in Guido's bar for me till I came back. town tomorrow, so I thought I'd come back for a last goodbye. Ah, uh, come to my house uh, for a glass of wine. I'm horrid. Okay, sure, I'd like to. Good, thank you. I like company. Uh, sit here, Mr. Day. For special people. <laughs> I'm sorry, it is ordinary. Oh, I see. Uh, vino? Wine? All right. Uh, wine, much good. Frascati. In America, only wine for when is married. Not according to statistics. I know, I understand. And Vino is also when unhappy. Oh, triste. Some people in America are not happy. <laughs> oh, Signor Day, make a joke with me. In Italia, wine all the time. Uh, not just for triste. Uh, wine for drink. Salute. Salute. Uh, sit. Cigarette? Mm, I no smoke. Uh, thank you. I never smoking. No good. <clears throat> uh, 
You eat? I cook much good. Uh, I'm a Dex. Uh, <coughs> apple uh, uh, Thai. Uh, beans to Boston. Fried chicken. Thanks. I just had dinner. That's too bad. Volete un po' di frutta? Uh, no, grazie. Uh, I make a pizza. <laughs> no, thanks. Uh... Trovo tomatos? Uh, no, tomatos. Uh, biscotti, come si dice in americano? Uh, cookies. Cookies? Ok. Hey. All right. Where lives signor Day? Me, uh, Detroit. Ah, Detroit. Uh, near New York. Yeah, right across the river. I uh, know. <laughs> Across the river is Brooklyn, I know. <laughs> is no brothers, sisters to you? No, none. Is mama, papa? Just me. Too bad. Or is maybe good mama, no see brother died. Break the heart. I see. Now everybody dead, you alone. Is outside something? What? You look and look. See Black Spirit? Oh? <laughs> it's shadow cloud makes. Moon is dance like a little girl. You make it sound like the words of a song. I think. <laughs> Do you know? Scarlet Nathan, along, along. I'll take a rain check on that. I, uh, I gotta be going. What time you got? I see. Le 11, 11 o'clock oh. in Italia. In America, Brooklyn, uh, 5 o'clock. Uh, tomorrow. Uh, tonight. Uh, today. <laughs> uh, was my son Vittorio. Was fighting under the ground. Was killed. Nobody find Vittorio. Was a scout. What's that? Uh, he's an Italian soldato with uh, Elias. Oh. My wife Rosa. Kill it. Bomba. Old house. Uh, <laughs> poor Rosa. Well, uh, thanks for the wine. All right, it's my pleasure. Oh, um. Here, I want you to put some flowers in Bill's grave, will you please? <laughs> William would like. Buona notte. Buona fortuna.
Yeah, who is it? A prison, a policia. Well, the door's open, come on in. Oh, what's up? Senor Day, you will please come with us. What for? The Commissario Massina wishes to speak to you. Me? Why? The Commissario did not inform me of his reason. Okay, you'll have to wait like a dress first. Si, Signore. Let me have him, will you? Si, Signore. Come vi chiamate? Miguel Consiglio. Voi? Leurini Guido. Siete quello del bar? Sì. Si. Sit down, Signor Day. What's going on here? You know what the party's for? Questi vanno sapere che è successo. Io andavo al mercato. Stavo appoggiato al muro. Ma ha già fatto una peppa d'acqua. E ha già visto passare un uomo. Will you... Ah, Signor Day, good morning. You... Will you please follow me this way? Ritorno fra un minuto. Will you tell me what this is all about? This way, please. Please, will you... We are trying to identify this body. Do you know this man? Yeah. I noticed last night that you two were not in the most friendly of terms, and that you left together. What are you trying to do? Pin this killing on me? Oh, how do you reach a conclusion it was a killing? It could have been an accident. You left the restaurant together. You were arguing, as men will. You went to the grotto, continuing the argument. There was a physical out to the disagreement. An accident. And the man is dead. It could have been that way, but you got one very important detail wrong. I wasn't with Vince at the grotto. Oh, you met him there? No. Where were you last night? Asleep. You will follow me, please. Come along, Mr. Day. Buongiorno, signor commissario. Chiamate il portiere. Sì, signor commissario. Mr. Day, will you please sit down? Portiere. Do you speak English? At what time did you see Mr. Day last evening? The signor Day left the hotel at nine. He did not return until four or a few minutes after. Thank you, that will be all. Do you wish to retract your statement, Signore? Yeah, I guess I better. And you were where then? Out at the GA cemetery with a caretaker, Pietro. You were out at the cemetery? Portatemi Pietro, il guardiano del cimitero. Signor Commissario, permette. Excuse me. Ah, è così. Sì, sì, ho capito. Grazie. Now, sir, you came to Amalfi. Why? To see the grave of my brother. Ah. For no other reason as well? None. Your trousers are still wet. I uh, fell down a puddle. It hasn't rained for a week. It's funny. I was sure it was a puddle. We have proof, Signore, that the murdered man carried in his person a large sum of money in American dollars, as well as francs and lire. This money was missing from his body, also his passport. I am got him. Obviously. A guilty man will not be caught with these things on his person. My man has searched your room. He did, did he? And? And found nothing. Except this spade. So? So the police must assume that the murderer has hidden the loot, perhaps buried it. This earth is still uh, fresh. <laughs> I've said something amusing, Signore. No. You holding me? I have no choice till I learn how you spent your time between nine o'clock last night and four this morning. A distant time over there.
Luke, why don't you tell him where you were last night? Why don't you tell him you were with me at my place? Yes, why don't you? A lady's honor, Captain. You Italians understand these things better than we Americans. Exactly what time was he with you? From a little after 11 to a little after 4, Captain. <laughs> you know how it is. Time flies when you're with a girl. You sit and talk and uh, suddenly it's 4 o'clock in the morning. Mm. All right, Miss Ravezza. You may go. Thank you. We are not holding you, signore. The evidence against you is formidable. But you have an alibi. Yes? Yes. Signor Commissario, ecco il guardiano del cimitero. Buongiorno. Ah, signor Day, is trouble? No, just a misunderstanding. Captain thought I was another guy. Hmm. What time did this man leave you last night? Ma, he was under my eyes uh, until 11 o'clock. You are free to go, signore. But while the matter is still under investigation, you will please not leave Amalfi. Okay, anything you say. This is all? This is all, Jordan. All signore. right. Ah, that's it. This poliziotto make mad, no? He's asking this man where was that man. <laughs> Why not ask you first? You still like him, no? They're very suspicious characters. I don't understand. Uh, you stay in Amalfi, eh? Not any longer than I need to. Listen, why don't you come for it tonight to my house? Thanks, just the same. But I think I got a date. Nicola? Hello. Ah, it looks pretty good. How about a bite? <laughs> no, thanks. Is Ellen not home? Ellen is not in the car. Oh. She's home, huh? Here. Buy yourself an ice cream cone. Si, vengo. Oh, it's you. Weren't you expecting me? Not exactly, but come in. I came to thank you. Must we always look for reasons? Isn't it enough you have an alibi? No. I'm still on the hook with the cops. And so am I. What do you mean? Lying for you. They know it. I don't get it. First you brush me off like dandruff, and then with the cops you make like the Marines. Eh, it doesn't add up. Like the way you acted? <laughs> okay. So I'm a heel. So every guy ever kissed a gal's a heel. But you and I never did make orange blossom talk, you know? Did we? The other is what you wanted to be. Did we? No. Why'd you go to the police? Before you question me, I would like to have some answers myself. Why did you come to Amalfi? For the sea air. <laughs> I remember you, baby. You think you smell dough, don't you? You think I killed Vince and I got his money? Well, get yourself a new crystal ball, baby. All I got's a couple of bucks. Oh, you will be rich again, Frankie. You will get the money. What do you mean? What money? Oh, I don't know. But you have always been pretty smart, haven't you, Frankie? Uh, what do you think? You hungry? Yeah. I was just cooking breakfast. Will you have some? Uh, are you kidding? Let me see what you've got cooking. Oh, sunny side up, just the way I like it. So, you weren't expecting me, huh? Oh, boy. Give me your pen, Frankie. I will pass them. Hey, 
Hey, welcome to Amalfi. Chamber of Commerce? No, just a citizen. The moniker's Jack Conway. So? You never heard of Conway before? Should I have? Depends on what part of the states you come from. Around Newark, New Jersey, Conway's a character. Ask anybody. Mm, could be. Ever hear of Big Eddie O'Hara back home? Sure, who hasn't? The racketeer? Why, you work with him? Mm, not exactly. But Big Eddie and me were going to get together. Well, glad to have met you. Wait, wait a minute, fella. You don't have to act like I've got something catching. I'm doing you a favor. Like what? Give the guy behind me a quick eye. All right, I've seen him. So what? A matter of interest. Hey, okay, let me tell you about it. I'm telling you, he's a police bloodhound. He's been trailing ever since you got out of the police station. Watch him follow us up to the top. Come on. So he's a cop. What's he expect me to do? I'll lead him to the money. What money? The one your friend had on him. The cop has figured to catch you where you put it. Two plus two adds up to a murder rap. Everybody in this town knows more about me than I do. Ah, it's a small joint and a long way from Newark. Exactly the right distance. You can have Newark and any other part of the state's devil in spades. This is the place. No income tax boys looking for you all the time. Ah, oh, so that's it, huh? Taxes. Uh, matter of forgetting the date. Why should a right guy be slapped into the can? Because he ain't got a calendar. Hey, Democratic. Uh, you gotta take the breaks the way they come. I figure you're about ready to listen to a proposition. What is it? I know you came to town to pick up a lot of dough. Yeah, sure. My grandmother died here and left me her oil stocks. I figure it can't be legal money. You'd go after it right out in the open. You can't touch it with the coppers watching you. They'll figure it's your friend's money. So here's the deal. You tell me where it is or who's holding it for you. I get it for you. Help you get out of here. And you pay me a percentage. You sure can dream, can't you? Dough, stocks, percentages. I don't own a button. But when I do, I'll make sure not to do business in your store. Evaporate, Chisler. Thank you, Signore. How for you? Instead of following me, why don't you walk along with me? Because I think that you're mistaken. I know you're one of Messina's men. It's my duty to observe your movements. So you can observe them better if you walk along with me, can't you? If you wish, Signore. 
What'd you boys find out about me anyway? That I'm the guilty party? I'm not allowed to discuss the case with you, my friend. Oh, uh, if we're gonna be pals, what do I call you? Marco Baldori, detective. I do some odd jobs for the police. I used to be in the regular police force, but I like to eat too much. <laughs> pleasure. It's a pleasure for me. You uh, been in the mouth long? About four years. Che dice ancora non esiste più a Tarantella e che a Napolo pure c'è nella non ci vuoi non ci vuoi tornare più non ne ho vera non ne ho vera non ne ho vera è tutta falsità quando hanno stato il tuo whisky io I don't drink torna a Napolo pure tell me about last night non comprendo l'inglese when the man who was murdered was here non capisco l'inglese you ask him I want to know exactly what happened Vuol conoscere ogni particolare. Ho già detto tutta la polizia e non so altro. Did he give the names of all the people who were here last night? L'uomo è entrato nel locale e si è fermato qui. Ha ordinato un whisky, poi un altro e poi un altro. In tutto cinque. Per pagarmi ha tirato fuori tanti soldi di tasca che non ne ho mai visti da che campo. E poi se n'è andato. Quante volte dovrò ripeterlo? He said what he told the police. The man drank five whiskies and had plenty of money. Uh, great. I come up there, 10 o'clock. Come on, Valdore. Let's get out of here. Che parola non so più quella, è che tutto sa da torna a fa. Non ne ho vera, non ne ho vera, non ne ho vera, è tutta falsità. Questa canzone in Apollo si canta una tavota e a vota, a vota, a vota, sempre, sempre. I'm gonna wash my hands. I'll be right back. Torna a Pulicionello perché sempre a te torna. Torna a Pulicionello per piacere sta città. Una rosella parla un po' fa. E non mi rizzo bene a Message got to you all right, Muller. Let me tell you, boy. Four hundred fifty. Four hundred and fifty thousand. You have it for me, the passport? Yeah, I got it for you. You'll have to pick it up tomorrow. Hey, what did you call me for? I'm sick and tired of having you stood just after me. Want to see no you trouble, again? No trouble, baby.
you go. That means friend. How'd you find out where I live? Newark Telephone Directory. <laughs> I like a joke. That's what I miss most from the States. The comics on the radio. Now I listen in shortwave. I could be even funnier if you told this monkey to get his gun out of my back. Renzo, why sure? What are you doing here? I think Handsome here tried to hold me up last night. I want to find out why. <laughs> he did, did he? Yeah, he's not very good at it. <laughs> you can tell him for me that uh, he even forgot to get the two bucks I had on me. Yeah, local talent. What do you expect? Did you think about my proposition? I'm still thinking about it. Okay, chum, if you think you can afford to wait, why, it's okay if I... What do you want in there? I want to talk to a friend of mine. Who? You know. Ah, oh, the Greek? <laughs> I didn't know he's a friend of yours. Conway. Maybe you're beginning to see things, pal. My old man was like that. Liver trouble. Saw snakes. But don't kid yourself, I'm not sick. I see things the way they are. <laughs> oh, wise guy, huh? You better take a walk, chum. Your pal, the bloodhound you left down there, is getting heartburn. By the way, fella, remember, I don't like no snoopers. Okay, Amika. Follow that. Guy. Hello, Marco Baldori. I didn't get very far away from you, did I? I didn't let you, Mr. Dean. Shall we go? Come on, I'll show you an easier way down, this way. Yeah, this sure is an easier way. I wonder why my friend went up the back. Your guess is as good as mine. Really, I think it's the most wonderful place I've ever seen. They told me that it was even nicer. So, you know the guy who lives up there, huh? Jack Conway. New Jersey City. Came here three years ago, evasion of taxes. You know just about everything, don't you? Grazie, signore. We try to. I thought you liked to eat. Aren't you getting hungry? I was just thinking about that. Come with me. We have soup di pesce and cannelloni. There's good vitello meat and mozzarella. You want to come? Sounds great. But all I want is a cup of coffee. I have a cup of coffee with you. Uh, this coffee I must have in private. Come in. Hi. I didn't expect you again today, Frankie. I came to get my coat. Oh, yes, it's right here. Hungry again? I can use a cup of coffee. Good idea. I'd like one myself. What gives between you and Conway? Conway? Your glasses. Why'd he slap you? How do you know? Your cheeks still red. If you must know, he's jealous. He heard I was with you last night. But you weren't. Yes, uh, that's what I told the police. And he saw you leave here this morning and... Try again, baby. You can't make me believe you'd go for a chisel like Conway. He's not your type. And you are? Let's not change the subject. That wallop he gave you was no love trap. What kind of racket you two in? Sit down, Frank. The coffee will take a minute. All right, tell me. Have you the right to ask? No. I guess not. It's so good to be sitting here in this room with you. After this long time, Frankie. Right now, you are like you used to be. When you had on your uniform. Rough to the touch, with the smell of the cleanness. You and I were good for each other, baby. Oh, why didn't you say goodbye to me, Frank? I couldn't. I got into trouble. Trouble? Yeah. Army prison. They got me for selling things. Black market. Ah. Uh, where do you think all that money came from that I threw around? Oh, yes. You made a lot. Enough. And they got that, too. No worry, baby.
What's that? <laughs> the coffee. A warning. <laughs> Question. You bring up, Signore. He's a woman to be trusted. The Bible shows us to Eve. But what were her motives with the inducement of the apple that banished her and Adam from heaven? Curiosity? Deceit? Maybe she just wanted to make coat or a change of scenery. <laughs> a point. What time you got? Ten o'clock, precisely. Ten o'clock, huh? Buonanotte is in your name. Buonanotte. Uh, I suppose I'll see you in the morning, huh? Of course. Listen, for the information of the police, I'm in for the night. It's just after ten. I am not the police spy, signor, but Madame Day from America is here and asked to talk to you. Oh, Madame Day. Oh, are you Mr. Day? Yes. I'm Mrs. Robert Day. The concierge told me another person of the name of Day was staying in the hotel. And I thought it funny, two people of the same name. Yes, well, nice to meet your acquaintance. I'm from Providence, Rhode Island, oh. although my family originated from Kentucky. Of course, Day is not an unusual name, and it amuses me to think we might be related. I'm afraid not. I'm from Detroit. I don't think there's a branch of our family in Detroit, uh. but you never can tell, can you? I know. And may I inquire what you are doing in the mouthpiece, sir? Oh, I'm just seeing the sights. I thought perhaps you'd come to visit someone at the cemetery. No. Pietro, that's the caretaker, told me a young American called yesterday and gave him some money to put flowers on my son's grave. Bill was my son's name. Did the uh, caretaker say who it was? No. He wouldn't tell me. Well, uh, maybe it was uh, some guy in your uh, son's outfit. Perhaps. When the war ended, I came to Italy to be near Bill. You see, he was my only child. Were you in the war, sir? Yeah, with the quartermasters. Oh, my Bill was an infantryman, and he won ever so many decorations. But I'm sure you've many citations too, Mr. Day. No, only one. That was when they discharged me. Oh, that's nice. It's the only way our country has of showing its gratitude to you brave boys. Yes. Well, uh, I must be going. Nice to talk with you. Well, perhaps we can meet again tomorrow. <laughs> perhaps. Good night, Mrs. Day. Good night. I tell you who kill means. <gasps>
me, Frankie. What's the matter? What are you doing here? Come to the back door. I want to talk with you. Quick. All right. I'm getting out of town. Are you leaving? Yeah. You want to go with me? Can you get ready right away? You were always like that, Frank. Quick like a wind in a hurry. I'm oh, sure I would like to. But the police, remember, they ordered you to stay. I don't like their invitation. Look, I don't have any papers. We'll need a car or something to get us across the border. Can you do anything about it? I don't know. It's so quick. It will take money. I've got it. Now listen. There is blood on your coat. What happened? I, uh, bumped my nose. You are lying. Your friend Guido is dead in my room with a knife in his back. Guido dead? Oh, why did you? No, no, not me. But the police think I did it. They got a five-bell alarm off me right now. That's why you wanted me to go away with you. No, uh, You just wanted to use me. No, no, To help uh, you get out of this trouble. It's not true. Uh, How much you give me if I help you? How much do you want? How much do you have? Baby, let's spend the money together. You'd forget me like you did no, before. No, I wouldn't. Not this time, believe me. You'd better not. I'll meet you in an hour, but not here. At the 66 kilometer marker out on the road to Naples. At the 66 kilometer marker. Come state? Perché non mi avete avvertito? C'è molto disordine qui, mi dispiace. Un uomo senza una donna che si cura di lui. Un uomo ha bisogno di una donna. Mm. Volete un bicchiere di vino? Mm. Avete saputo di Guido stasera? Sì. Ah, nessuno sa mai quando deve morire. Moira. È proprio vero. Non ci si può fidare della gente. Gli affari andavano male al bar stasera. Ma chi voleva bere con lo spirito di Guido ancora dietro il banco? Ladra. Dammi il passaporto. Il passaporto dico!
Dove andiamo? Andiamo avanti. Where's the car? I couldn't get one. Here there is your passport. The only thing that you need is a photograph. You must go right away. First I gotta get my money. Don't forget, baby. You're going with me. Go alone. Go alone. Frankie. Frankie. Someone was coming. Frank, I'm afraid. Leave me here. Go alone. Forget the money. Espera, you are burying a friend? No, digging one up. So you followed me? Ah, Miss Elena, you feel good? Dig more, maybe you find something. I'm getting tired. You want to try? No. Bad for manicure. Thank you, be careful. How do you work? Dig. What do you expect me to find? You joke. The money you come to find a mouth. Vince sure did broadcast, didn't he? Vince? Who, Vince? The guy you killed. He named Vince. Not a very good name for men who talk so much. But on passport, say Vince, eh, Helena? What passport? You don't know? Dig. Ask Helena, she's still from me. Vince's passport. So you got that too. Guido in the bargain, eh? Come on, Helena, passport. I got it. Here. No, you throw. Dig. Steel passport, very bad. Except when you and Conway do it. Mr. Conway? Yeah, he makes a deal for you, doesn't he? You know my business. Pick up.
Signor Day, please accept my apologies. Ma che succede? Chi è? Oh, thank you. What's the matter? Eleanor. Eleanor, Mr. Day, what happened? I don't know. There's something wrong with Eleanor. Come in the house. Come in the house. The men in bed. Take the dogs. Yes, sir. There, put her there. Go, Frankie. Run away without me. Take it easy, baby. Take it easy. How did it happen? Who? The Greek he shot me getting a passport for you. For me? Oh, mm. baby. Sì, dottore, subito. Dottore, dottore, come quick, Miss Elena. Mm. Oh, don't worry, it's only my arm. That Conway and his gang arrested and removed the body of the Greek from the cemetery. Yes, sir. Oh, yes. Signor Day. Signor Day, does this box belong to you? Yes. It's mine. It's my money. You can't do anything about it. You can't put me in jail because I already served four years. I didn't kill for it, nobody got hurt. All I did was trade some chocolates and cigarettes. Well, it's illegal, you know, to deal in the black market. Under the law, the proceeds of such transactions are confiscated. How much did you have? Four million lira. Call it black market if you like, but it's mine. You can't take it away from me. It's empty. Your proper attorney to police. What's that mean? Where's my money? Owner of contents, apply to Amalfi Police. Where's my money? It was found and brought to us. Nobody claimed it. After one year, we returned it to the finder. Who? Oh. It was Pietro who found it. Where is it? What'd you do with it? Uh, please, Senor. Where is it? Uh, come with me. Why? I will show you. Come. Come on. Where are you taking me? Come on, tell me, where is it? Where's my money? Here is your money. I make the chapel with your money. What do you mean? You spent my money on this? See, si. it's no good. Four million lira. Enough to keep you fat around the middle for the rest of your life. And you spent my money on this? It's no good to be too fat, signore. You good, me no. <laughs> <laughs> Signor Day. Signor Day. Signor Day. My name's not Day and you know it. Well, that's right. <laughs> First time, I understand. Uh, William Day and you, no brothers. I know his mama. She's here in Amalfi. Yeah, I know it. Uh, what is your name? Frank Keeler. Ah, Keeler. His good name, Keeler. <laughs> Same good as Day. Uh, you know, Med, I use money for chapel. Huh? Four years in jail, dreaming about it. Two of the worst days I ever spent my life trying to dig it up. What do you think? Want me to kiss you for it? Pin a medal on you? Uh, sorry, Senor Killer, no like. But it's pretty building, no? Senor Killer, listen. When I find money in... I think it's bad money. No use underground. Maybe men never come back. I say make bad money to good money. Make uh, something good. Uh, he's going to Detroit now, Senor Killer? I don't know. Senor Killer, stay a month, Senor Killer. See chapel finished. Uh. Maybe not feel so bad. Is your chapel, no? Maybe someday, Senor Killer, think the Lord 
never want you have that black money. Thank you. Senor Killer, no bad man. Outside, tough, yes. But inside, same like old man. Hmm? Sometimes feel fine, sometimes feel bad. No, Senor Killer? My name's Frank. <laughs> See, Frank. <laughs> Come on. 